All right, so as you guys might know, I don't usually cover new world tournaments on JP, but there are some pretty interesting things that are coming to this one specifically that I wanted to make sure all Dokkan players were aware of. So yeah, with that said, let's jump right into it. We're starting here with the assets from the latest data download, uh, courtesy of Proton and 10MG on Twitter. So make sure to go follow him. And uh, scrolling down a little bit here, as you can see, we have a new World Tournament LR coming. It's the Int LR Jackie Chun. Here's his SSR art. There's the TUR. And finally, the LR. And of course, we will be talking about exactly what he does and taking a look at his animations in a little bit. And uh, from there, we have a new World Tournament reward unit, which is this Int Champa. And finally, we have an awakening for the Tech Gotenks as well. So two new units, one awakening, and also uh, the rest of the assets are just your standard like banners and promos and stuff like that. And uh, there are also some uh, assets related to the new burst mode, which we talked about in a previous video. So I'm not going to get too much into that in this one. But uh, yeah, that was the data download. So from there, let's pop over to uh, the Twitter page of Minato's Flash. A big shout out to him, and he has provided us with the translations for the LR Jackie Chun. So let me just uh, actually open this in a new tab so that we can make it bigger for you guys. Okay, there we go. So we got LR Jackie Chun. Leader skill is World Tournament Category Key Plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 130%. 12 key super, raises defense for one turn, causes colossal damage with a high chance to stun. And then 18 key super, uh, raises attack for one turn, causes mega colossal damage with a high chance to stun. Passive is key plus 4, attack and defense plus 120%, world tournament category allies, except this character, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 50%, plus an additional attack plus 20%, uh, up to 60% with each super attack performed and then plus an additional defense plus 20% up to 60% with each super attack um, Received or sorry each attack received. So this was a mistake uh, He corrected it in a you know new tweet uh, after he posted this and basically it's yeah uh, additional attack with each super attack performed additional defense with each attack received and then uh, when an enemy is hit with this character's ultra super attack, reduces damage received by 50% from that enemy. So this is actually really, really interesting. I don't think we've ever seen a unit with this particular mechanic before, right? I mean, of course, we do have units that have damage reduction, 50% and above, but never, you know, a debuff, I guess, to an enemy where like, when you hit them with your 18 key super, then they only do 50% of the regular damage to you. That's kind of cool, and uh, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Of course, it's not as good as just like straight up 50% damage reduction, but nonetheless, if you're facing only one enemy, if it's like a single target stage, then you're essentially getting 50% damage reduction uh, for the rest of the event. You know, if you're uh, hitting the enemy with your ultra super which shouldn't be hard to do so uh, very cool passive right there and the buffs are pretty solid I think he will be hitting decently hard um, defensively you know getting some pretty decent defense of course amazing support right there man the Q plus 3 attack and defense plus 50% the only thing that uh, only thing that sucks is that he doesn't give that to himself right but otherwise great support uh, good buffs and then this last part is a uh, really effective as well, really useful. So uh, that's the passive. Active skill is can be activated after uh, not performing but receiving six or more attacks during battle or four or more super attacks during battle. Um, hold on. I'm guessing he's saying that it's, yeah, receiving six or more attacks, which was a correction, or performing four or more super attacks during battle and it temporarily raises attack by 610% and gains a 64% chance to perform a critical hit within the turn in which the active skill is activated. And Link's Arbaniacs, World Tournament Champion, Kamehameha, 
The Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. The categories are World Tournament, Full Power, DB Saga, Kamehameha, Earthlings, uh, Battle of Wits, Planetary Destruction, and Accelerated Battle. So there you go, those are the details for the uh, Int LR Jackie Chun. I apologize for some confusion that might be in there, but there were a few uh, mistranslations that I had to you know, correct. Um, like the uh, defense right here is for receiving attacks and also uh, the active skill is procced by receiving attacks or performing four more supers during the battle. So uh, otherwise everything else should be pretty clear. So that is the Jackie Chun. He looks quite good. He looks quite good. Of course, I haven't had a chance to use him or anything. I haven't had a chance to really see him in action. So I can't say exactly how effective he is, but just on paper, he looks very, very solid. Okay, so uh, let's pop over now to uh, Kawhi's Twitter page. Thank you to Kawhi for posting his animations. So I'm gonna pause the music real quick and uh, we'll start with the 12 and 18 key supers. Alright, so super attacks look awesome, and finally we have the uh, active skill, so here we go. And there you have it. So those are all the animations for the Int LR Jackie Chun. Um, I mean, I gotta say, man, for a free to play unit, he looks awesome. Uh, almost on par, honestly, with like a summonable unit. I mean, you could argue like this could have been a summonable unit. Of course, detail wise, I don't think he would have been good enough to be like a summonable LR, but the animations, um, you know, if, if someone had told me, like, before I actually knew what he was, that this was a summonable Jackie Chun with these animations, um, I wouldn't have complained. So, yeah, great looking animations. And uh, now we're going to jump over to... Oh, hold on, let me just put the music back on. Yeah, we're going to jump over to the Dokkan Info website where we have some... Uh, kind of translations for the Tech Gotenks Awakening and the Int Champa. Now, I couldn't find proper translations out there for both these guys, so I just went over to Dokkan Info, um, which has their details in Japanese, and uh, you know, just hit translate. So it might be a little bit confusing to go through these, but I'll try my best to uh, you know, decipher it for you. But before that, um, there's some pretty crazy uh, info in the news as well about this like competition where if you rank in the top 50 of this new world tournament on JP, then you actually uh, will be, yeah, you actually will be invited to the 8th anniversary fan meeting in Japan. It's going to be a special event held at a local venue. No real details, but basically, um, yeah, if you're in the top 50, right, you're in the top overall 50 in the world for this world tournament, then you'll be one of the people invited to the, this 8th anniversary Dokkan fan meeting, which is pretty crazy. It's going to be interesting to see, like, if any of the, uh, you know, like, Dokkan tubers out there can make it, because obviously, you know, some of those guys are pretty hardcore when it comes to the grinding world tournament but um when it comes to japan i mean it's a whole different animal like the jp version compared to the global version um you generally have to you know score a lot higher to get into the top 100 top 50 so it's gonna be tough especially with this prize on the line right being invited to this special event um i think it's gonna be crazy so uh, yeah, good luck to anybody on, on the JP side who is grinding for the top 50. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, at least a few of the guys we know, like Truth or whoever else, can get there so they can bring us, 
you know, the uh, live details of what's going on at this meeting, you know, so uh, yeah, very, very cool stuff. And uh, we also have a participation uh, title, I believe, which is this one right here. Let me quickly check. A uh, special title will be presented to users who have won a prize and registered for participation. Oh, okay, so maybe... Oh, is this maybe for the fan meetup? I think this title might be for the fan meetup, which is a really cool looking title, by the way. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's a competition right there for top 50, and we also have some new special titles as well um, for your placement. So, as you can see, this one is for ranking in the top 10,000, this one's for ranking in the top 1,000, and this one is for ranking number one overall in the world tournament a crazy looking title obviously beautiful obviously only a few people ever like in the history of this game will receive this specific title i'm thinking that um top two and top three will also get those titles or like or like you know similar titles just like not as cool but uh yeah this title will be probably the most exclusive thing uh in the game period because yo you only get so many chances to rock uh, to rank number one right and even you know with those like few tournaments it's just almost impossible to get number one like you gotta play non-stop essentially for the, the the duration of the tournament even then if you're not fast enough if you're you know don't have your team optimized and your play style optimized you're not gonna get it so um yeah yo shout out to the few people ever who will have this title that's gonna be the ultimate flex i think in dokkan and yeah now let's pop over to the uh go tanks and champa details so starting with the go tanks uh leader skill is super attack types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 90 percent super attack raises attack and defense causes supreme damage and lowers defense and passive is attack and defense plus 100 uh, percent at the start of turn and then transforms agl key spheres into tech key spheres and key plus one and attack and defense or sorry attack plus 20 percent defense plus 10 percent uh for boys slash girls category allies which i believe is youth and uh, also key plus one and attack plus 20 percent defense plus 10 percent for allies in the fusion category as well and then attack and defense plus 100% when attacking with three or more key spheres acquired and guarantees an additional attack with a medium chance of killing with three or more tech key spheres acquired. So when it says killing, I'm assuming that means like critting, right? A medium chance to crit, or maybe it's like stun. Um, I'm not really sure what, what killing means. Medium chance of killing. Because like when you first see that, you think, oh, maybe it's like a guaranteed kill but that that's not a thing in this game you don't have a guaranteed chance to you know kill the enemy that's just too op so um it's either crit or maybe medium chance of additional super no but that then it would say special move so i don't really know i'm gonna say crit okay i'm gonna assume it means medium chance of critting with three or more uh tech key spheres acquired and then activates a skill um activates a skill and acquires five or more key spheres to make an additional attack with a high chance of triggering a special move okay so like i said it's going to be a little bit confusing just because we are translating directly from japanese and the wording is going to be kind of weird uh, the way that the grammar is laid out like you know the words are laid out will be kind of weird just because of the different uh difference in grammar between japanese and english but uh i think this last part is just basically saying um with five or more key spheres obtained, you launch an additional attack with a high chance of becoming a super attack. Okay, so that is the passive for the go tanks. And links are the innocents, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Shocking Speed, Orb and a Flash, Fuse Fighter, and Shattering the Limit. And now we're gonna pop over to the uh, Champa Leader Skill, Int Types Key Plus Three. HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 100%, and then uh, defense plus 100% when attacked against only one enemy, so if you're facing one enemy, um, defense plus 100%, and then 
attack plus 100% for 4 turns when attacked, uh, or after receiving an attack. Always activates critical hit, so I guess that means he's getting guaranteed criticals. And God Dimension or Realm of Gods category enemies, high chance to evade enemy attacks when there is. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> when there is a Realm of Gods category enemy, then high chance to evade and also uh, guaranteed crit, right? So when you're facing a Realm of Gods enemy, then he gets the high chance to crit and the 100% chance to crit. Or sorry, high chance to dodge and 100% chance to crit, and a very high chance to trigger additional moves or additional attacks. So very high should be a great chance, which would be 70%, right? So um, that is the passive for the Int Champa. Of course, no awakening for him yet, so he will get even better, but uh, he seems like he's going to be a fun unit to run right now against Realm of God's enemies, right? So. Uh, that's the passive. Links are innocent, more than meets the eye, over 9,000, shocking speed, connoisseur, and godly power, and categories are Realm of Gods, Seekers of the Dragon Balls, Universe 6, Siblings Bond, Master, and uh, Bond of Master and Student, Space Traveling Warriors, and Planetary Destruction. So that is the Int Champa World Tournament Reward Unit. And this video is going a lot longer than I was expecting, so it's my bad, my apologies, but it's over now. That's, uh, all there is to say guys, thank you so much for uh, watching, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the new Jackie Chun as well as the Awakening for Gotenks, the uh, new um, Champa, and also this crazy competition. It's like an actual tournament now to determine who gets to go to the 8th anniversary fan meetup. And uh, who do you think has the best chance? To actually make it out of all the you know dokkan youtubers out there um i mean the only one i can even really think of right now that has like a chance you know a chance to do it would would be probably probably truth right i don't know i don't know uh if there's anybody else that you feel like can grind that hard can no life it that hard to make it in the top 50 let me know in the comments otherwise uh, that's gonna do it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut video signing out